episode of uh, Hockey Talk with Lincoln Talk with Bill and Jock. Tonight I have a uh, reporter from St. Mary's, Pat Payton. Pat's been covering the Lincolns for a long time. And how long would that be exactly, Pat? Uh, I think I'm in about my 35th season, believe it or not. But I'm most proud of the fact that the Lincolns have been around like 61 years, and I've covered them for more than half of their history. So I'm a little proud of that. I bet you are. I, I was pretty proud of myself being uh, 25%. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you've seen a lot of hockey uh, come and go, so just give an idea of the first part of your career covering the Lincolns, who, some of the highlights and some of the players, you know, go way back to the 35 and 30 years ago. Can you remember that far? Well, my first year, I started halfway through the 82-83 season, but by 84-85, we won the league, and it was a great team. It was Paul Callflush and John Rowland, Mud Grasby was in net, he was MVP of the league. And I still remember March the 8th, 1985, it'll be a uh, Friday night, yes. it'll be a night I'll always remember. They played London in the final, it was game six here. The place was packed at 6.30 for an eight o'clock game. And it's the biggest crowd that's ever been in this building, 2,400 they estimated. We beat London 4-2 that night and won the league championship. The League trophy was presented that night, and it's the last time, 85 was the last year it's been presented on this ice. They won the league in 94, but it was in Petrolia, and the trophy got presented down there that night. But So we're, so we're long overdue to have a trophy presented here. That'd be great. Yeah, well, I remember... Uh Back when you mentioned Cobbflesh, he was a uh, he got he still holds the record for defensemen in the league goals, assists, and points in one.